everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do another floral design using the aqua paint to paint on this green gloss wine bottle I am going to be using 3a magic paint brushes I have a 10 I'm sorry it would be a 12 14 and a 10 and then I have it's kind of in bad shape but my Westonia uh, fine liner it's actually a nail brush and then a dotting stylus all the paints I'm using and the brushes and so on I will have affiliate links listed down below the video so if you want to check those out you're welcome to purchase through those I am using all folk art paints combination of multi-surface and enamels I'm going to be using wicker white that seems to be like my base paint to use with everything. It has a lot of uh, pigment to it so it kind of helps when you're doing the gloss painting. And then aqua, burnt umber, fresh foliage, thicket, and school bus yellow. And I like thicket the color, that particular color, so I do use that a lot for my leaves. Any of the colors that I'm using, if you want to use a different color combination, you're welcome to do it. I'm just showing you different designs that you could possibly do on this uh, green glass bottle. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to start with the number 12 for the floral design. And I just dip each side of my brush into the desired colors and do a couple little blending strokes. The proper way to do it actually is to do this or you can do it in between, you know, picking up paint in between and doing the blending strokes. Honestly, I'm not really that precise about it. As I'm painting, I may come back over, pick up some paint just by going like this and adding it on to the glass. A lot of times, the thicker your paint is, well not a lot of times, it's proven. The thicker your paint is, the more durable your design is going to be, and that's a great way to do that. With my design space here right now being kind of limited, I am not actually able to show you all the time that I'm dipping into the paint. You know, I can let it sit here, but if it gets in my way, I'm going to have to move it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I've already cleaned off the bottle. It's very important to clean with soap and water and then go over with rubbing alcohol just to make sure you got all the debris off and you'll be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So at the top here, I'm going to do just a quick little bud. I am pressing my brush down and just doing slight wiggling with it. Not anything real difficult. Okay, so then that's just a little bud. Then I'm going to kind of turn my bottle just a smidge and come over this direction, put the brush down, wiggle, create a petal, create another petal. Now you can actually go this direction if you want or you can continue on in the direction that you were already headed. That's up to you. You'll get a different look when you, depending on which direction you head and see once again, this plate just gets in my way when I'm painting. So I need to figure something out and I understand that you guys like to see how people load their brushes and all. I just have to figure out a different setup here once again. All right, so then I'm gonna go around here. Hopefully you can still see and I'm pushing the brush down and I just continue to work in a counterclockwise way. So this is what I mean, you can continue to go around all in this direction, or if you choose, you can, you know, do a few and then, then reverse the direction of your painting. And I am just going to do one layer from my design that I painted on paper, I actually did two layers on this flower, but I'm just going to leave it with just one. You can do two or three layers if you choose, up to you. And then I'm going to come down here and 
once again, push down, wave it. And this is what I mean by, well, you can actually go this way too. See, it gives it kind of a different look when you go over the top of it. And then I'm going to do another layer, just kind of come up and around a little bit like that. And then turn the bottle smidge and come down here. Again, pushing, just pushing and slightly wiggle on my brush, not anything crazy. And this is where I was saying earlier, then you could go the reverse direction and come back over and, and paint a petal like that. Up to you. Another thing you could do is actually turn your brush and do the opposite color leading. I'm going to keep it all going in the same direction this time. Not like that. All right, so I have my blue part done. I'm going to pick up my brush, and this would be the number 12 brush. I'm going to be dipping this into the thicket, the fresh foliage. I'm going to put a little bit of the burnt umber in here and maybe even tackle in some of the white. Again, the white has a lot of pigment in it, so that helps with the thickness of your paint and how it goes on to your project. And I'll just keep adding paint as I go. All right, so now I've got my brush loaded. And the first thing I'm going to do is just come up around what would be my little bud or partially partial bud, big bud, <laughs> however you want to describe it. And then just kind of come up through the center. I'm just going to pull a little bit of a stem there, a little bit of a stem here, and I'm not going to have a stem coming down around like I normally, like in a lot of my designs that I do. I'm just going to have the leaves basically around the flowers themselves. So I did that, and then I can come back in here, kind of pull up. Now on this one, the brown is... Uh, kind of, well, it's actually showing quite well. So I've done that, and then what I'm going to do is just add in another bigger leaf here, like that. And you can stand back and just kind of look where you need to add, you know, just wherever you feel comfortable. And this is like a folded leaf is what I'm creating right now. So I can just kind of stick a little uh, little stem there. can stick these up, up here over the flower itself. They don't have to be identical by any means. And just realize that it's okay for them to look different. And I can actually even pull a leaf down this way, a leaf down this way. If you get too much paint in your paintbrush, feel free to just go back and wipe it off on a paper towel. I'm just going to do little stems here into them, just very lightly touching. Again, you can do this or you can leave them out if you aren't, you know, too concerned about it or you don't really care whether or not you show a stem or a vein, whatever you want to reference them as. Then I'm going to go over here and just kind of keep adding some leaves. Now I'm going to do it going this direction and I'm again just wiggling it just very lightly. And these are kind of light compared to what I would typically do because the bottle is green. So sometimes you actually have to go maybe even with the lighter on the outside so you can see it. But since my colors are kind of light it shows up nicely on this bottle still. And then you add your stem in. One thing you have to be careful with though is that you don't roll your bottle over onto your paper or your the bottom, you know, where you're working, because then you're you're gonna mess up your design. 
All right, so I'm going to do just like a little V here. Don't necessarily have to do that. You're welcome to do it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But it's just you know, doing a real light. Now I can go over this and pull the stem down, or I can just pull a stem like it's coming from here, however I want to do it. Either way is fine. And then let's do some pulls up here. I don't necessarily have to do them this way, but because they're not really a partial, like a bud type thing. But I, I like that look. So I'm going to do the same thing this way. And you can turn your colors where they're all going the same direction. If you want to pay attention to the light source, you can actually make it to where like the top is light, the dark is you know, the bottom is dark, that type of thing. I don't pay too much attention to that, but you can you can, you know, if you want to be more specific with it. And let's see here. I maybe put in a few little little stems into these. Again, just doing it very lightly. And as you paint, you'll get used to getting a feel for the pressure that you need to put on your brush. You know, that's really going to depend on the look that you are trying to achieve. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my bottle, go back this way. And even as far as like blending strokes and all, you just, the more you practice, the more you're going to get the feel of it and find your own way. Because the way I paint, how I load my brush, yeah, there are supposedly right ways and wrong ways but I just I just can't stress enough that you're going to eventually find your own way and you're going to get the feel for it you know whenever the time you know however long you you paint you'll get you'll get the feeling for it we're all different all right so I'm gonna pick up my next brush and this is gonna be the 10 I'm going solidly into the fresh foliage. I'm not going to mix it with any other color unless I find that it's difficult for me to get the right consistency. And then I'm just going to put a few little poles out like this, just in different directions throughout the design. Once again, you can step back, take a look at it. Another thing to consider here is I'm doing it wet on wet. So I will be pulling up paint that's underneath. If you don't want to do that, go ahead and hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer, whatever you have available to you. If you don't have any of those tools, then just give it some dry time. And I'm just going out put on the chisel edge and pulling towards the center. Nothing too difficult. And if you don't know this already, my channel, the intention here is for me to teach you simple designs that if you're a newbie, you can learn to paint, hopefully not be intimidated by it because I'm providing you with simple designs ones that you can work on. All right, so let's just keep going here. I just, again, have to concentrate on making sure I don't tip my bottle on the wrong side here so I don't roll it over and take the paint off. And again, if you feel like it's too transparent, it's not covering well, you can mix in some light with it. I'm just going to keep going here without the white. I'm just trying to add, I mean, you could even go with a totally off color, like maybe even some burgundy or yellow ochre, something that's not even a, a typical 
leaf color. You know, use your creative senses and create a different color combination. All right, like I said, if it's too transparent and after it dries, you can go over it. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. I don't want to get too crazy. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is dip the handle of my fine liner into my school bus yellow. Tap in the center here. Then I'm going to stick the bristles directly into the paint and I like to just kind of turn it a little bit to wipe off some of that excess paint. You can use the center if you want to pull from and add to the little pulls that you want so you're gra grabbing paint from the center. That's up to you. But this brush is amazing because I can actually do more wispy kind of pulls from it. Whereas with some of the other brushes I've tried to do this with, I just don't get the same kind of results. So if you have a brush that you like to use already to do this with, definitely use it. Any of my brushes that I give you as a this is what I'm using kind of deal, definitely feel free to use whatever you have and whatever you're comfortable with because we're all different. It doesn't matter. All right, so then I'm going to come over here to these and kind of pull out from them as well as if, you know, the center we can't really see, so the dot, obviously I'm not going to worry about that because I can't see it. My, my petals are folded. But I can pretend it's down in there, right? And I kind of like to have them crisscross a little bit, not all be straight. But that's, you know, whatever your, whatever your, uh, whatever you want it to be like, though, you can keep them all straight. This is your time to be creative. And then I'm going to go over to this one up here, do the same thing. Just kind of keep it light and wispy. If you get too much paint, once again, just wipe it off on a paper towel and continue. We're almost finished, so I appreciate you sticking with me on this. Thanks so much. All right, so there we go. The last thing I'm going to do is take my dotting stylus, dip it into the white, and then come through here and just sporadically add some white dots. Now, if you don't like the white dots, you don't like white dots, then don't add them. Leave them out. I just like, I like dots, so you know, I've had some people say, oh, well, the dots. Well, you know what? Any of my painting designs, if there's something you do or don't like about it, add it, do it, don't do it. That's up to you. I'm providing just a simple sample of what can be done, not what you have to do in order to complete the design. Free will here and go for it. It's all about being creative and, you know, using your skills and, you know, or if you are more skillful than me, which anybody can be, fine, you know, just use it as a sample of what you could possibly do and add your, add your techniques to it. All right. I hope you like this. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Before you leave, if you would share my video on your social network with all your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again so much for taking your time to view my video. 
And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one. Bye.